Aloha, Santa Waters. Let's see if I can get this message out for you without getting interrupted. I kept hearing, by the time they choose you, you're going to be over it. And I was also hearing someone that's still around toxic friends and spirits trying to bring in your soul tribe. And I feel like they're not going to bring them around, whether this is your soul tribe, your divine counterpart, they're not going to bring them around when you're around this person. Yeah, look at that manipulation first thing. This could even be someone that you thought was your twin flame. I'm hearing soul tribe energy though, soulmate energy. Yeah, somebody that maybe you were friends with for a long time, someone that was always jealous of you, someone that was also trying to manipulate you into staying away from your twin flame or into thinking someone was your twin flame and they weren't. I feel like a lot of people gravitate towards you and these people around you are really jealous about that. I'm even hearing they even talk bad about their own personal friends to you. So you don't like them. So they don't like you because they know how you attract in everyone. And they were even afraid of losing their own friends due to your light. So they would purposely talk shit about everybody who they hung out with. So you'd be guarded, you'd be in def um, defense mode, feeling like you got to protect them and whatever. And I feel, you know, you even started to put your sword down. You started to become more soft, more in tune with your emotions. And they could have been leading you astray from doing that as well. I see you stepping into your feminine energy and they would just say little things like that would throw you off course. But I feel that you are moving away from those people. But there is some sort of energetic cord. So this could be friends, a lover, whatever, right? Um, but I feel like they're about to choose you now. They're finally going to come around and say that they see you, they feel you, they love you, they hear you, they honor you, whatever the fuck this is. But it's just going to be too late. I'm hearing like someone's spirit saying no we're just not gonna allow it we're no longer allowing it look at that love and let yourself be loved yeah we're no longer allowing it because you're starting to love yourself and spirits also seeing that you're allowing yourself to be loved and you're knowing that where you were was not where the fuck it was at you were the one doing more of the loving being more understanding trying to lead the way and get people to move beyond their ancestral patterns Look at that, that Venus energy. Stepping into your feminine energy and leading the way. And they didn't like that at all. Because they knew that when you would be in your feminine energy and not be so stuck in outdated patterns, you were, you were growing and you were definitely going to be reaping rewards. And they don't want to see that. Look at that. You're fucking royal. That's why. Yes, you're royalty. This could have been a Leo that was doing this to you. You could be a fucking Leo. So take it as it resonates. Yeah, look at that creative expression, warm aura, world revolves around you. The sun, strength, they seen all of this inside of you and they hated it. Yes, they knew that you were the chosen one. And for me, this chosen one energy, because I do hear a lot of people bringing the shit up. Um, this is for your chakras. I don't resonate with the Bible. Sometimes I'll pull up um, scriptures now and then to... I don't know, help you guys out, but I don't resonate with it. But this 144 to me is they told you that you had seven chakras, but you actually have 144,000. And that's what you were doing. You were going through this Kundalini rising and they saw it. They actually got to bear witness of it and it scared the fuck out of them. And it was shocking and it was actually intimidating and scary to them. They could have even cut you off. In fear of your power. Maybe you said some shit. And it left them no choice. Because spirit said I ain't having it. Spirit said I am not fucking having it. You need to move or we'll fucking move for you. Yeah look at that. Because you're putting in so much work in this space. And they just wanted to take. Yeah. Yeah. They just wanted to take, take because you're the mag magician. They knew that you're a master manifester. And 
And when they actually found out that they couldn't take it from you, they just wanted to stop you from doing it because they couldn't take it. They were trying to tap in and find ways to take it, but they couldn't. So what they did was make sure you were insecure. Yeah, look at that. Make sure you were guarded. I felt that. And look, that wand right there, too, that gives me the fucking Ten of Wands vibe. Someone who's very passionate, someone very accomplished, but they were starting to feel stressed out and exhausted. He got his wand right there, too. Stressed out and exhausted. Like, nothing's growing when it was. When you are victorious, you are successful. It was and it is, I'm hearing. Yeah, that's the Six of Wands. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That'll be the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting, waiting for your ships to come in. Somebody was waiting for the divines to bring them their person, their true divine counterpart. But in order for your person to come, they had to create a huge tower moment. Somebody could have got kicked out of their home. I'm hearing lost a job, uh, kicked out of school even. Huge breakup though, the breakup be between the divine counterpart, I mean, excuse me, the karmic, and even those friends, right? Those toxic friends, those friends that you thought you were in alignment with. Those thoughts, those thoughts, yeah, these bitches could be thoughts too. Those friends that you thought were your family, but they were actually just around for that coin, for your energy, the wheel of fortune, for your advice as well. I'm seeing they know they knew who you were. They would come to you for advice. Yeah. They would come to you for advice. And they're very fucking controlling and possessive. Jealousy. Clingy. Envious. That's what the fuck this is right here. Yep. And there's that tree of pentacles energy. And it's in reverse to me. So that lack of teamwork, right? They weren't on your team. They just wanted to be around to benefit off those gifts that you have. They weren't on your fucking team. Look at that, see? And now, because you're no longer around them, they can't even sleep. They're, st they're stuck in their head. All their ideas, everything that they thought was, is no longer fucking falling through. Yeah, this could have definitely been a friendship. <sighs> They're stuck. They're stuck. I'm even hearing penny pinching as well. I'm I'm hearing they they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up. And I can see them coming towards you to choose you, but you're not even having it anymore. Look, Ace of Swords, chosen. It's the truth. You are the chosen one, and I feel like. They were also chosen to be a part of your life so you can see who you are. Because I feel like, you know, you're not really one to seek approval. But you did. I'm hearing when they said jump, you jumped. That, that's how loyal you are. That's how much love you got for your people. So spirit had to choose these people in your life that when you say jump you listen to motherfucking self i feel like somebody wasn't listening to their damn self they were doing whatever this person wanted them to do yep king of pentacles off the table somebody wasn't making a wise investment somebody wasn't focusing on self focusing on building up your dreams you're you're planting seeds in other people's gardens and and you're also helping them maintain their garden and spirit ain't having it Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune keeps coming out over and over again. That's why Spirit ain't having it because you're about to come into some huge shifts in your life that's going to bring in a lot of material abundance. A lot of material abundance after a time of being betrayed and backstabbed. Of them giving you all these choices and options, but creating fucking illusions, creating roadblocks. Heavy backstabbing energy. They just wanted you for your energy. They knew who the fuck you were before you even knew. And they tried their very best to get you to not notice. 
by planting little seeds of fear, worry, and doubt in your garden. It's like while you're maintaining their garden, they was at your motherfucking garden planting weeds. Planting seeds of despair. I'm hearing projecting their seeds. It's like whatever seeds, the maintenance that you were doing to their garden, all those weeds that you were pulling in their garden, they, they took all that shit and they threw it in your fucking garden. Look at that, the tower, yeah. Heavy projection energy. Heavy projection. So if some of you have been feeling like stuck, lazy, um, unloved, unkind, lost even, just know that's not your fucking energy. <clears throat> that ain't your energy. Yeah, the sun. Because you're the sunshine and you feel like sunshine as well, I'm hearing. You could have a lot of children as well. Or just children. I don't know why I said a lot. You could have children as well. And I'm hearing you are even <clears throat> becoming softer with them, softer with other people's children. And they hated that. And they tried their best to cause you to feel weak, worry, lack, like what you're doing is wrong. When what is wrong about happiness and love, remembering gifts. Being out in nature, taking care of your children, loving on them, loving on your community. What's so wrong about that? What's so wrong about that is they don't know what that's like. They could have been kicked out of a home. They could have been kicked out of a church or something. I'm seeing kicked out. Or this could even be abandonment issues, right? So they don't know what that love is. I feel like you even have gotten abandoned in the past, but... You chose to grow from it. You chose to create something out of nothing. And these people still hold on to the shit. Yeah, look at that. Death. You let it go. You let it transform you. That's that rebirthing process. You didn't hold on to it. You turn that pain into power. You're someone who's very skilled. And that's why your soul tribe is coming towards you. But I'm hearing definitely putting this situation to an end. Like I said, this could have been a long-term friendship, a long-term relationship, somebody that you have children with even, or somebody that you trusted around your child, I'm hearing. Yeah. So making wise investments within your community to bring in good health. Yeah, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You have this huge impact on the world and you create this huge ripple effect. It's like whatever you invest into, people will want to do the same. So make sure you got your priorities straight. But I see stability here. I see good health. I see wishes coming true. I see trusting in the divines. I'm seeing him here. My hands are tied is what I'm hearing. Like maybe you want to call these people you still wanted to be around them or give them a second chance. And every cell in your body is not allowing you to do so. And I even feel like you also have people that you see as your reflection, as your person, your soul tribe. But spirit's not allowing that to happen either because there's still more growth needing to be done, more things needing to be let go. But there is stability and happiness. Like, look at this final spread here. The sun trumps everything, yeah? The, the sun, your energy, your aura overpowers anything that they try to send your way. I'm even hearing you are the talk of the town. Look at that death card on the resurrection, that rebirth and habits. Reconsider. resurrection i'm seeing somebody has a habit with bringing the dead back to life this could be dead end relationships yeah dead end goals growth yeah that's the sun energy once again that 19 energy but yeah i feel like somebody has a habit like things are over somebody knows it's over somebody knows this person fucked up and you still want to give them a second chance or fuck, I'm hearing 10th chance. So stop doing that because you're growing. It's like maybe someone's getting impatient, like nothing's happening. So let me just call this person again. Type shit. I'm even seeing like somebody has like um, somebody's easy to forget. I'm hearing like you forgave this person and you're so stuck on that forgive and forget energy. You literally forget what these motherfuckers do to you. 
which causes you to end up in that same ass situation when they come towards you and you know call you it's like you're right back in the same position meeting up with them like nothing ever fucking happened I hear a siren and like spirits coming to rescue you from doing that. That's why I'm seeing your hands are tied. You just can't do it. And when you feel that, you know, if you're feeling some type of way, go with that gut instinct. But I'm feeling like somebody really has to release something because there's good shit coming towards you. And these motherfuckers are trying to keep you so guarded that you're not even going to notice it. Yeah, look at that. The moon card, the fear. You're not even going to notice it. You're, you're just being called to trust in your instincts at this time. Trust in how you feel. Honoring how you feel. But fuck, I feel like there's more in here. Feel open, willing. Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't forget, though. There's actually been a few people <clears throat> that I removed my energy from this year. And I almost gave in. I almost gave in, like, I almost started, yeah, that's the, that's that projection energy, I almost felt like I was being selfish for not um, talking to these people, and then I had to sit with myself, and I was like, wait the fucking minute, bitch, do you even remember why you stopped talking to these people? Do you remember that you didn't want your children around these people? So it's like somebody has to sit with themselves and remember and know that it's not your fucking fault. You left for a reason. And if you didn't leave and they left you and you're feeling like something's wrong with you, just know that redirection is spirit's protection, yeah? They're trying to redirect you. Oh, rejection is redirection, whatever. But it's like somebody wasn't listening and somebody possibly had to get cut off. And I think it's time to snap out of it and know that that was spirit working through this person. Even if they may have said hurtful things or whatever it was, spirit had to, spirit had to cause them to betray you. It was like written that way or some shit. They had to betray you for you to stop betraying your fucking self. Because I feel like there was already red flags. You knew this person wasn't for you. You knew they weren't growing. They weren't on your same vibration. But you chose to stick around for whatever reason. Because you love and you love hard. Yeah, you're very nurturing. You want to be everybody's daddy, everybody's mommy, right? Maybe you didn't have one when you grew up and you know what it's like to fucking be without. But nah, it's time to recover. It's time to heal from that. And it's time to release those burdens of feeling like you have to save people. You're being called to focus on self at this time. Okay. Water holds memory. I do see a lot of you drinking more water, and it's so beautiful. And push through. That was just a soul lesson. It could have came with a lot of anxiety. I'm actually seeing somebody break free from anxiety. We have sexual healing that could help with the anxiety. Um, but I'm not hearing this as sex. I'm hearing this as your sacral chakra healing. So you doing more breath work becoming more creative, writing things down. I'm seeing somebody have a lot of ideas and they don't write it down. And then they end up losing their train of thought. I'm hearing carry, start carrying a book with you wherever you go. Like just like how you carry that motherfucking phone. And people are like, I don't want to carry a book. Nah, carry that book with you, boo-boo. Look at that pay raise. Somebody's getting a pay raise. Write that shit down. Write that shit down because that idea that you have even if it's like some sort of mood that you want to be in for that day, it's coming with a huge pay raise. But you got to get these people out of your fucking way, okay? Yeah, I just saw Pisces, wish upon a star. I'm hearing somebody has two wishes. Okay, I feel like, I feel like I'm looking every. I feel like I'm looking for something. I feel like I'm looking for something that could be re uh, relevant. I feel like there's still, mm, wow, that could be the energy you're in. There's still more to be done, more to be said. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Yeah, Ava popped up, but then it went back in. 
I'm hearing no. There's not more to be said. Somebody has to just come to terms with things, that realization. Look at that Lehua energy, that ripple effect. Number 39. That's 12, the hanged man. Changing your perspective. Seeing things differently from a different view. Not the view they forced you to see. Not the view they fucking projected onto you, right? Let's briefly read this. I do want to read the whole thing because this whole ass story is beautiful, but I got to get going. Maybe we'll read it another day. As you undergo initiation, you begin to build competence and confidence. Ignore the voices from behind. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that past, motherfuckers. You're building up your competence and confidence again. So push the fuck on, people. Ignore those voices from behind, the ones that try to convince you to see yourself as you were rather than as you are. You're prepared. Go forward and do not look back. Eventually, you will make the transition from initiate, initiate to initiator. An initiator is one who is responsible for teaching others. As you undergo transition, give thanks to your teachers and their wisdom will continue to spring forth as you blossom. You heard that, right? Don't fucking go back. Don't fucking go back. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all so much. Aloha, sons and waters. Peace, love, and light.